This is an overview of the post accordion by Limited Elements for Elementor. To get started, drag the post accordion into your Elementor widget. What this widget does, it shows your posts in an accordion format. So when you click on one of the titles, it can close it or open it. Each item has an image, a title, a date, the content of the post, and a read more button to open the full post. I'm going to take you over the settings and show you how you can customize this. So the first setting over here in general is for first item open. You can decide that the first item will be closed by default when a visitor visits the page. I like leaving this on because it indicates for the users that this is an accordion and they can click on different items to open them. Over here we have the text for the read more button. You can change this to any text you want. And let's jump into layout. In layout you can turn on or off different parts of this accordion. So for example if I want to turn off the image I can just toggle that off and I don't see an image in each one of the items. You can do the same for the title, the intro, and the content. So right now we're only seeing the intro of the, uh, of the post itself and we can see the full content. So I'm going to turn the full content on and I'm going to turn off the intro. So that's how you would use this. If you want to show all of the text of your post, you're going to want to turn on content. Over here in icon, this is just to change the icons of the toggle heading over here. So let's just change this around a little bit. Maybe let's go for an arrow, for example. And you can see these changed into an arrow and the active one, we can maybe change to a down arrow to show that it's already open. So that was just an example how you can change the icons and you can play around with this. Over here in post query, we can decide what kind of post we want to show. So you can filter this by post category, for example, which is called terms. Also right now we're showing a lot of posts, but let's say, for example, I want to show only four posts in my accordion. I can change the number here to four. And now you can see that I have only four posts. You can decide how to order these and you have also an advanced option for query ID. This is for people who know how to use PHP. Inside of the styling options, I'm going to take you over all of the settings. So the first setting is for the icon background. We can change the icon background over here. So right now I changed the background icon for all the headings that are closed. And over here we can change it to a different color for those that are open. So right now you can see those are that are closed are black and the one that it is open is blue. Icon background size, we can make our icon bigger. This is the outer sizing. And over here in icon size, that's the inner icon sizing. So you can play around with both of these. And over here we have an option to add some border radius to our icon if we want to make it rounded. Icon color and active color is for the icon itself, not for the background. Inside of heading, we can add some padding because I've added some uh, I border radius to the icon. It's not looking so good. So let's add some padding just to space that out so it won't be so close to the edges. And over here, we can also add border radius so to make it rounded like the icon is rounded right now. So that looks pretty awesome, I think. Over here, we have an option to change the colors. So for example, the active color, I'm going to change the background to black just so it contrasts with the closed ones. If you don't want your headings to be so close one to each other, you can add some heading margin. So we can even add it only on the bottom, for example, just to space those out a little bit. And really, you have a lot, a lot of settings. You're going to need to play around with this to understand everything. But those are the basics. You can also add borders and active borders. Heading text is for the text over here inside. So as you can see, it has padding just so it's not so close to the edges. And you can play around with the padding if you want to space it even more. You can play around with the colors. And let's say, for example, I'm going to turn on the typography over here. 
and make the title a little bit bigger. Of course, you can change the font family or letter spacing maybe and play around with that. Inside of the content area, right now the text is aligned to the left. We can align everything however we want, to the left, to the right, to the center, depending on your design. I'm going to leave it left aligned. We have some padding over here for the content area, so you can see if I decrease it, I get some less padding. If I increase it, I get some more padding. And again, we have also a margin setting. The reason we have also padding and also margin is because it behaves differently if there will be a background color over here. So right now it's adding space inside, but if you would do margin, that would add space outside. Over here, we can also round this because we want it to look good with our heading that is rounded as well. So I'll just push out the roundness over here. Awesome, so everything's looking pretty cool. I'm going to close the content and jump into the image. Over here in image, we can change the image height, the image radius, and if you want to change the image maximum width. Inside of title, this is the title over here. We can make that title a little bit bigger just so it contrasts with our date, maybe make the font a heavier weight, and you have all the typography settings, title spacing to space the title, from the image. Inside of date, same settings, text, same settings. This is also for the intro and also for the content, depending which one is on in your website. Last part is for the button. So really you have all the settings to customize your button and you can play around with this. Let's just make it a little bit more rounded and maybe change the color to something that fits our design better. Cool, I think I went over everything, so if you have any questions, you can post them in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.